Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another How to Survivor Got series with me, Ivoli. And uh, today I have no idea what we're doing, but you probably know because I probably already put it in the thumbnail and title. So, yeah, um, we're just going to get today started. Let's go. Let, 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 let's go. Well, guys, here we are at the top of a very tall scaffolding tower because I had the idea to make a gold farm and then I had a better idea. Why don't we go kill the dragon like 26, well, 20, 26 times, 24 times because I killed it twice already. But why don't, why, oh, why, why don't, why don't we go do that? So yeah, let's, uh, let's go. We're, you, we're just going to go slay the dragon. Let's, uh, let's Geronimo out of here and go slay that bad boy. All right, guys. So we are back here with everything we need to kill the dragon. We got some food. We got some more rockets. Uh, TNT for the gated stuff and end crystals and a few slow falling potions. Um, I got some more potions here uh, and more f uh, da, 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 rockets and food, food and rockets and stuff. So, yeah. I apologize because the stupid replay mod did not work and it didn't capture any of the stuff like well it recorded it but it was all blue screen and I don't know why or how to fix it so you missed out on it was like an hour and a half of slaying stupid ghast in the soul sand valley just to get tears for this total pain in my foot I tell you what but but we have the things, and hopefully the replay mod works this time. Um, I'm going to try it one more time, and if so, you'll have a very nice uh, time lapse of me killing the dragon 26 times, 24 times. If not, uh, well, I'll just try to double record it, so that way, if there's no replay mod, you'll see it from first person. So let's go. You ready for this? Dun, dun, dun. All right, I'm just, I'm joking. Let's, 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 yeah, let's just go. All right. Well, it looks like I, uh, I forgot to, to, to grab something here. So let's, <laughs> crud. Let's, um, let's take this down really quick. Or maybe, I wonder if we can leave it up, actually. It's haste, too, for when we're mining this stupid obsidian. Um, nah, we'll just take it down. We'll take it down. So I'm going to take this down and we can get started with, um, smashing this dragon's face 24 more times because as you can see, we have two end gateways here and there's a total of 26 that surround the island here for the dragon. So we'll do it 24 more times and hopefully... You know, we can turn... Oh, did I look at that Enderman? Okay, I did it. Um, we can turn this entire island into some kind of end, like, fortress or paradise or something. I don't know. We can do something cool in the end. Uh, yeah. So, I'm going to finish this, and we can start the crystals. All right, guys. So, we are... <laughs> getting this party started off right uh hopefully everything goes right with the replay mod and if it does you're gonna be uh tuning into a sweet time lapse kick it <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, guys. So we did it. We got every single end portal up. All of them. All 20 of them. I kept saying 26, but there's 20. I don't know where I got 26 from, but there is 20 of these little guys. And that means we respawned and killed the dragon 20, well, 18 times. Because we already had these two right here. Everything else, brand new, never gone through before. So, yeah. We put in a lot of work. And I mean a lot. Like, a lot of work. We died a few times. We uh, died a lot to the stupid Endermen because, well, they're jerks. But, yeah, we did it. We finally did it. We did it. We completed it. We did everything. We still got a little extra left over because, like I said, I thought it was 26. So, that still would have got us, like, 23 uh, and some change. But, yeah, we got some Dragon Breath, some TNT. I don't know. We're, I'm going to have to go AFK at the Creeper Farm because we are almost out of rockets and go trade with the villagers to get more food. And this is a new bow because I'm an idiot and completely forgot to change out the bows while fighting the dragon. And, well, it broke. So this is our fifth, <laughs> our fifth bow. Oh, man. Yeah, we... Uh, We've had a rough little week here, and I apologize for the video being so late. But this, like I said, this took forever. Losing the bow, getting levels to remake the bow, doing all the things, getting all this stuff. Countless hours getting gas tears because for whatever reason, when I'm looking for them, they just didn't want to spawn. So, yeah. But what we are going to be doing now is actually... Well, we're going to get out of here and start stocking up on some stuff because I still have some other plans that I need to take care of. And I want to show you guys. All right. So that was a very, very, very sweet portal there. New portal I made. And like I was saying, guys, I want to show you what I've been working on. This is our um, our bartering tower or castle. Uh, you can see that I did. I tried it with different colors, and I, I really wanted to go with the acacia, but I don't have any. So, well, I don't have enough for uh, a build like this. So, we went with the uh, crimp or warped, warped here. But this is, this is what I've been working on in between killing the dragons. And if you know what it is, please comment down below. Let's see if you're right, or just take a guess. Take a wild and crazy guess what this, what you think this could be. Um, this is, well, from this that way. It's just maybe a third, no, maybe an eighth of what the entire build is gonna be, and then this is just mirrored of this side. So just let me know what you think this is. But yeah, that's what I've been working on. I've been working on some sketches, getting all of that. Uh, looking pretty nice buttoned up and looking good so yeah i'll be working on this a lot and i don't i'm not gonna say less of the world but i'm gonna be working on that a lot like a lot a lot so let's actually let's let's get back let's uh i just i just like that song what's up guys we back we did it we did a thing we did a thing and i love it yeah you could probably hear it uh-huh. Yup. We found the dubstep disc, baby. Yeah. Dude, I'm so excited. I love this disc so much. The new soundtrack. I'm probably overplaying it. But who doesn't want to listen to the brand new dub pigs? The pig step. The pig step, yo. Oh, it's awesome. But hey, we uh we put in a lot of work. And I mean a lot of work. We killed 18 dragons in a span of a few days. Well, it was about three, four days with IRL stuff going on. Which leads me to this. We have a lot of IRL stuff going on. Like a lot. 
the uh, the pandemic is getting closer and closer to home, and I don't like it. So taking extra precautions on, you know, everything, clean, cleaning, cleaning the the things, all the things, the tiny human, the everything. All right. So we doing that. We staying safe. Hope you're staying safe. We got that pig stuff in the background. But yeah, I got a lot of stuff going on, and that prolonged this along with um yeah the giant uh, the giant the giant build that i've been working on so yeah but today guys since we still got a little time i want to get out and start working on a little project yep but uh it should help us for here let's let's put that on pause uh, it should help us with the 1.16.2 update release. So 1.16.2, if you don't know, has the Brutes. And Brutes are big, bad piglins with axes that try to murder your face. So what I want to do is try to make, uh, I don't know, try to make a gold farm. Um, but I don't, I'm not like, I don't want to look at anybody's, uh, gold farm. So I kind of want to just like do this myself. If that makes any sense. Was it is mag magma cream? I think magma cream makes yes. Yeah. So I'm going to grab some magma cream and then we're going to meet back up on the nether roof. And, um, I'm going to go over. Well, actually, I lied. I lied. We won't be back on this nether roof, but we will be back on a nether roof to go over my ideas and design for um, our personal gold farm. And then hopefully I can get a tutorial out to you guys if you do or if you would like it. Uh, so, yeah, let me smelt up and get some more materials here and then I'll meet you on the roof all right guys here we are back on the roof well we're we're on the roof and um this is a this is definitely my creative world clearly uh but yeah th this is this is kind of what i have in mind for our gold farm uh it's kind of well i wanted to do a circle but i ain't too good with circles so i'll have to tweak that a little bit and yeah, so we got, you know, the, the basic little setup here with the um, 20, 25, 23, 25 minecarts because we have an iron farm and we can waste it like that. Uh, these will be built up so that way they can't just like walk along the side because I kind of want, well, these, it'd be like this, it'd be a little wall around so that way they have to funnel into the um, into the, the little kill chamber here but my only concern with it well this is all gonna be covered in glass but my only concern with this is you know you're just standing here right you will have the piglins either in the boat I put the boats here because well you can easily just slap a pigman or piglin in the, or pig Zombie so piglin in the boat and name tag it and it shouldn't it shouldn't move because they can't operate it. But then I was thinking it could potentially move because if too many spawn here, like if the boat was like here in the front, uh, the pigmen could spawn behind it and eventually nudge it and end up pushing it onto the glass and moving it closer to where we stand and that ain't good. Because then that throws all the spawns off. And right now there's nothing spawning, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're in peaceful. So let's see. We put it in hard. We should get some spawns in here. So we stand here. Yeah, like you see, they're spawning on that side. Oh, there they go. And one, see, one already spawned, like, in the boat. And that's what I was thinking. Like, we don't have to, you know, try to nudge them. A few blocks out and have them stand here with a name tag like this because we can just put them in a boat 
right? Like, I don't know. I don't know how that works. If we put them in a boat and then, hmm, let's see. Let's, um, I want to try something here. So we get our bow, right? And then let's get some arrows. I can't spell disregard me. All right, and then game mode, survival, let's see, one shot, right, okay, that didn't push, and I didn't put a boat on that side, so, yeah, oh my god, that's loud, I keep forgetting that how loud these guys are, music, sound, hostile creature, shush, all right. Yeah, see, and then they get stuck like that. I don't want them to get stuck. So I want to try to find a way to get them in here without getting stuck. And I think I might actually add more. Wow. Okay, let's just turn the stupid <laughs> off. Shush. So I'm I want to find a way to. Well, if I jump with that, I probably did. But now, like, there's still pigment in that boat. And they'll keep, they'll keep aggro. So whenever others spawn, they'll run right toward us. No problem. So that's what I was thinking. I don't know. It, it sounds like a good idea, but at the same time, I don't know how effective that would be because instead of, you know, they're still, they're still angry. Like they're still trying to get to me and I'm in creative. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But then I was also thinking for this part, the we can do sideways anvils like like this, right? So we do anvils like that and like this. And the reason why we do that, right, is so they they can just like walk in, and they don't like. I don't know, they don't uh, huddle up and like stop or not stop, but they don't uh, they don't bunch up against each other. So that's the thought behind that. OK, I was like, he better be dying soon. So we do like this and we can afford we can afford the anvils because, like I said, we still have a very, very good iron farm. So that's that's that here we put. Yeah. So they're still coming in. They're not getting stuck. So if we stand here, they're not getting stuck. They're running straight in. Let's see. I don't know if um, they could actually hit me like that. I don't think they can. No. All right, cool. But if I stand, if I stand too close to where they're coming, I'm pretty sure. No. All right. So that that that's actually, I think we're gonna stick with this, the anvil. So that's two, four, six, eight. Okay. So sixteen anvils. That's easy peasy. And then that that is another thing that I'm worried about. Um, we have to find a way. Stop it. We have to find a way. One, well, we're going to use like two or three different levels. Um, but yeah, we need to. We need. How did this go? I think it was just up here. Uh, we need to find a way to spawn proof that. And I think the only way is so. Is like this. Like every. You know, every so many blocks, but instead of using, well, I'm pretty sure you can use glass, but if not, we can use slabs. I'm almost certain we can use slabs, like bottom half slabs, and it should stop the um, the gas from spawning. So something like this, like little lines of bars over our uh, platform. Huh, I don't know, but that's what I'm thinking, guys, so... I'm going to perfect this idea here because it's going to be multiple pla or multiple layers. I'm thinking three. 
yeah, three layers of uh, magma blocks just like this in a five wide cir circular pattern around um, around the kill chamber, right? Hey, hey, hey. He's having a nightmare. Um, <laughs> but we're in a... Uh, what the 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 not crimson forest the nether waste biome so that's how we can get nothing but the zombified piglins to spawn and i'm pretty sure if we do three platforms like this a five wide circle at 239 blocks above the oh well, we're on two level or on level 239 from the roof we'll get crazy spawns like this and then I don't know if I want to we might just have a really really basic collection system where um, we'll have the items let's see because if I use hoppers that's a lot of hoppers but we do have a tree farm but that looks that'll look janky so if we did, let's see, if we did hoppers straight down, um, let's see, let's use, let's use this. All right, so if we did hoppers down to, what's that? Three hoppers, one, two, three hoppers, four hoppers, and they all came down like this, right? Whoops, whoops. They all came down and funneled into let's see um yeah if they funnel this way into or not even that way no no because there's gonna be a, too many items for the hoppers to to uh keep up with so if we do hoppers down like this we could potentially have like a double chest or have double chest out like this way from the hoppers or have a filter that gets rid of the rotten flesh and just keeps the gold we could do that just use a basic item sorter and have that underneath so but yeah that's what that's what I want to do guys that's my plan that's what I'll be working on here for the you know, next few hours, and um, if it works, it will be built in the next episode of our survival guide series, but if it doesn't work, we'll be back here fixing it or doing something else, so if you enjoyed yourselves, whoops, if you enjoyed yourselves, stay tuned, smack that like button, subscribe, hit that bell, do all the things, and I'll be catching you guys later, peace!